Hey everybody, it's Adam, coltbusters.us. I um, want to talk to you about some iniquity and hypocrisy. So recently the, uh, the movie Sound of Freedom was released. Um, it can be viewed at different um, theaters across the U.S., and the, uh, the Church of God restoration, um, the whole congregation, the whole congregation here in Warsaw went to see the movie. Now, I don't care if the restoration is going to the movie theater. I could care less. Um, I don't care if they go to the fair and watch a rodeo, whatever. <clears throat> but the, the thing that is troubling to me and a multitude of former members is that for 40 years, these people condemned others even for sending an emoji, our phones, if you're sending a text message, it has emojis that you can select. Um, they made, um, I think it was a couple of people, young adults, got caught sending emojis to one another and made them go around the country to the different congregations and apologized. They've condemned people to hell for nothing. I'm going to turn this off. For sending emojis, for watching um, a video on their phone. The Church of God restoration some years back um, they had a, some kind of a public meeting. Maybe it was a funeral or something. And they made an announcement over the pulpit that uh, there was to be no pictures taken and absolutely zero videos taken on the grounds. This is how rigid these false leaders of the people were. And now, so four years ago, February 4th, 2019, if you want to hear the entire message, the first 10 minutes of it is devoted to John Friesen exclaiming to the people how he prayed another way. February 4th, 2019, John Friesen, go to coltbusters.us and, and listen to it. I downloaded the entire message off of their website before going public and exposing their heresy. And they took that and also the mayor of Bethlehem was another message that was preached where the young novice preacher in Austria said, um, talked about praying through Ray. Since that time, this these cult leaders have They've taken a turn. Um, they've taken a turn for the worse in many, many ways, uh, scripturally speaking. But one of the things that they've done is they've they've now shifted from their forty-year pattern of condemning people for things they ought not to have condemned them for, to now condoning them and doing them those things themselves. But do you think that Ray or Steve uh, would pick up the phone and call the people that they put in hell for watching a video on their phone, sending a text with an emoji? Ray Tinsman was caught texting Felicia Maurer. Um, her, her and her mom told me it was really over a period of about six years. Ray messaged her on WhatsApp, and I got 15 pages worth from them 
Plus, there was audio that her brother had saved. I didn't get that. He was still in the cult. But early on, when this thing came to light, when Ray was sending uh, WhatsApp messages with like four kissy face emojis to a 26-year-old single mother having children out of wedlock, and, and he's sending her kissy face emojis saying, I love you so much. And at 1.26 a.m., he's at his cabin in, in Michigan, and he says, I'm in the UP camping thinking about you. And sends her a, 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 a message at 1.26 a.m. And yet that same man put people in hell for sending emojis to people. He's doing really ridiculous, ridiculous um, sexting messages to a 27-year-old single mother at 1.26 a.m. with kissy face emojis. And they gave him a pass. Somebody said that they believe it was Susan Much, quote, Apostle Susan Much, that said, you know, we, we basically, we can't, we can't let this get out. We got, this has got to be covered up because it's like Danny Lane said when, when Susan Much was sent to the hospital to um, have a C-section. Oh, yeah, you bet. People lost their lives because they couldn't go to the hospital. But when dear Susan Much needed to go to the hospital because she was about to hemorrhage, they sent her to the hospital. And Danny Lane's reply was, we can't let this get out. If, if Guthrie finds out about this, we're through. Guthrie the church that Danny Lane demonized for 40 years and tried to turn everybody away from it. So the, the amount of iniquity from the last 40 years, even unto now, they talk about the cup of the iniquity overflowing. It's overflowing, folks. And now they're going to movie theaters and... and Apostle Henry, Henry the hypocrite Hildebrandt puts out a video talking about child trafficking. Notwithstanding, my own son was separated from his, his mom, my wife, who divorced me under Steve Hargrave's direction in 2019, they moved him out of her house and have him up working up on a roof, running metal roofing at 16 years old, 400 miles away from his mom and his dad. Now, I know how they operate, folks. I'm not making stuff up. I'm not exaggerating. You can't make this stuff up. I believe strongly that most likely my son probably got in trouble. He was given either his mom some trouble or he was given the cult some trouble. So they just pack him up and they traffic him to another state. When his dad hasn't seen him for over two years. I've not seen my son for over two years. Some of his most critical learning childhood years, they've stripped him from his parents. Moved him in with they and God know who's who. So, and here's Henry. Henry the hypocrite Hildebrand talking about we got to stop child trafficking why don't you stop in your own house first Henry Hildebrandt 
Why don't you send the children that you strip from their parents? There's girls in Warsaw that were stripped from their parents. A couple just recently left Henry Hildebrandt's congregation. And then I hear they've, they've uh, swiftly gave a gift. Pay attention, you former members and members that are listening to this. They swiftly gave a gift to some judge that started coming around. And now she's a, I don't know, a mother in Israel or a, or a prophetess or a preacher or something. And she, they have her send a letter to the children of the parents that just left the cult. Trying to, shall I say, seduce the young adult to go to an all-expense-paid trip to Dublin, where Patrick O'Shea Sr. resides. Throwing a carrot out with an all-expenses-paid trip. This is the kind of garbage, iniquity, nasty, this stuff is over the top. Manipulative actions by these ministers for the last 40 years. And now, because I and a, and a bunch of other ones have, have come out and exposed these things, now they're trying to change. Oh, we can, the saints can go to the movies now. Oh, really? Why don't you apologize to all the ones that you put in hell for even thinking about going to a movie? And, and much lesser things than this, folks. We're talking about a group of people. Mark it down. Ray Tinsman. Stephen P. Hargrave of Muncie, Indiana. Of real black excellence. Come on. Real black excellence? Steve, you got to be the most racist, backwards individual I know. Randall P. Hargrave of Brothers Barbershop, Muncie, Indiana. And the other nine false apostles with you. Foaming out your own shame promising them liberty while you yourselves are the servants of corruption. That's where you're at. Steve Hargrave running around Memphis, Tennessee right now with a group of uh, 14 other people, took a busload down there. I don't know, they sold Tootsie Rolls or something on the street of Muncie. $6,600 don donated to him from somebody or some, and they're down there, to, you know, eating out and having a good old time while people are going to hell. And sadly, people are going to hell because of what they have done. Now, I think it's a great thing that somebody is trying to reach out to the um, wayward children and young adults of the inner city. That's great. But the end of the matter is almost, if I didn't know these things, it would be incomprehensible, the, the malady that those people are facing if they should tuck themselves under Steve Hargrave's wings. The end of the matter is not good. Now, we, we're, we, we're hearing that the three, Steve, Ray, and Randy, are basically silencing the other apostles 
forcing Elizabeth Opal and her husband, Alfred, to sell their house in Warsaw and move to Muncie for reprogramming, I guess, because that's where all the pedophiles, right, Steve? That's where all the pedophiles are sent, and that's where all the troublemakers are sent. They're sent to live with Steve, so Steve can reprogram them. Again, I'm not making this stuff up. So, and then Henry, I understand that the people in Canada have been complaining about Henry. I was told this past weekend, he was, he was, usually he pounds the pulpit with his fist in anger. This past Sunday, he was pounding the pulpit with his Bible in anger. And the people have been complaining about Henry's abusive um, ty uh, tirades. They've been, they've been complaining about it. So, the, the three, sounds like maybe they're going to move Henry down to Mexico or somewhere, taking him out of Canada. Elizabeth Opal's, Elizabeth, God is a liar, Opal. They're moving her down to Muncie, and rumor has it that she's being punished because she thought she should have been part of the three. Well, I got news for you, 12 false apostles. If you would have read your Bible and believed it, you would know that Jesus condemned somebody sitting around and, and measuring themselves by themselves and trying to figure out who among them should be the chiefest. You would know that. But you don't read your Bibles, do you? You don't read your Bibles for content as the Spirit would lead. You read for content as your own bellies lead you, as it is written of you. So you're waxing worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived, while your people just cower down in fear, cower down in unbelief and willful ignorance because if they would accept what is obviously plainly in front of their eyes, they would have to admit the three is wrong and the nine with them. And I'm in the wrong place. Somebody said to me yesterday, I think it was, something about if Elizabeth would have risen uh, Dietrich froze from the dead, I, I, I might I might go there. I might have went there. I said, I don't care if they raise somebody from the dead or put somebody's arm back on. They are contrary to what is written. And if we don't allow that which is written to lead and guide us, being... Um, confirmed by the Spirit, what do we have, folks? You might as well jo go join the, the circus and um, get on some hale bop comet somewhere because that's where you're at. If you can't allow the Scriptures to lead and guide you and, and have a confirmation by God's Spirit that you're His, you don't have anything. All you have, the Bible says, is they shall be turned unto fables. They shall turn away their ears. They shall not endure sound doctrine. They shall turn away their ears and shall be from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Storytelling. So the scriptures are not being allowed by them, very obvious, and most, most are not believing the scriptures. 
They sit around in Sunday school and say, what do you think, Bob? What do you think, Joe? When the scripture is right there, plain, black and white, what do you think, Joe? I could give two cents what Joe thinks. I don't care what I think. If the scriptures contradicts what we think or say, we are wrong. And those that we're following are wrong. It doesn't even matter if they've, if they've stood in the ditch with us, holding signs, saying, 2468, send the apostles to the gate. It doesn't matter. If they're contrary to truth, they're contrary. Some of y'all think blood is thicker than water. There's only one blood that you need to be concerned about, and that's the blood of Jesus Christ. God was very serious and is very serious about his word. He said, if your own children, your mom and dad, compels you to serve other gods, you stone them. So it's a type. The only reason Ray Tinsman is not smitten and eaten of worms already, dead, a heap of clothes with maggots coming out of it, the only reason why that's not physically happened is because God already did it as an example. The only reason why there's a I'm sure there's a multitude of these in the restoration right now that have sold their lands and brought the money and quote laid it at the apostles' feet. Probably a multitude of them didn't bring all the money. Ananias and Sapphira. The only reason why they're not dead is because it's already written. So we know. We look at what's written. We look at what's going on and we know, okay, they did that spiritually, they are dead, gone. Doesn't matter if it's your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your best friend that you grew up with and knew since you were in diapers. Doesn't matter. They're wrong, they're dead. Because we have the scriptures for the example. And so I told him, I said, I don't care if they raise that man of sin is going to be given power to do great signs and wonders in the sight of men, that if it were possible, he shall deceive the very elect. He'll bring fire down out of heaven, tells us. We're talking about miracles, folks. Things that are supernatural, that God's going to allow the man of sin to do, to deceive those that dwell on the face of the earth, because they've not believed what he wrote down. They don't even believe he wrote it. They all oh, man, man preserved it. When God said in Psalms chapter 12, he would preserve his word. He would keep his word. I guess they don't believe he's got men of God. I guess he don't, I guess they don't believe that he's got people that love him and serve him and are going to stick to his word no matter what. And it's always been that way. And then they come up with these, these, uh, so called Dead Sea Scrolls and this one and that one and all this different stuff that contradicts omits, deletes, adds to, and they're like, oh, this is, this is older, this is better. You don't think there was false apostles, false prophets, false teachers, false Christians? From the very beginning, it was that way. <clears throat> they're doing it today. A man was at my house picked up my wife's Bible. 
And I'm going to tell you something. I love my wife. My wife is deceived. My wife is not a Christian. She's deceived. While she's killing her own family, she thinks she does God's service. And I love her, and I pray for her every day that, her, that God will open her eyes. But the sad reality is, Andrew was at my house one day, be five, six years ago now. Her Bible that I bought her was on the coffee table. He picks it up and just thumbing through it. He about fell over. Adam, what, you, what, look at this. She's got angel and revelation marked out and Ray Tinsman written next to it. I'm not lying. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm not stretching it. And you go back, I don't know what, 50, 70 years, the Jehovah Witnesses were doing the same thing. And then most of Christianity flipped out that they were deleting, omitting, and changing the Word of God. And today it's like, oh, oh <laughs> I get the, I, I use the uh, uh, gender neutral translation. I use the whatever because they don't believe what's written, folks. That's the bottom line. And I know some of you don't want to hear this because you got an NIV under your arm. But you need to hear the truth and you need to know the truth. And because you've not been believing the scriptures, you're killing others and think you do God's service. And then you want to point your finger at me because I'm loud and obnoxious and I'm abrasive and I'm whatever. You've crucified Christ afresh. Jesus is a sinner to you because he made a scourge of small cords and went into the temple and used it on the men. But then, oh, you got to change the interpretation. Oh, that wasn't for the men. That was for the birds. That was for the asses in there. That was for the... Are you serious? Yeah, you're serious. Seriously wrong. And so, you've not believed, a lot of you, have not believed the report for years. I've been telling you, you don't believe it. You just watch it for entertainment. Oh, that's, that, it's funny. This isn't funny. Your soul is going to die and go to hell if you don't get this right. If you don't believe God, you're lost. If you say you love God and hate your brother, you're lost. Some of y'all, think about that. Some of you all hate your brother. Let alone, the Bible says, love your enemies. Do good to all men. You hate your brother. And then you project that same hatred on people like me and think that I'm just being, oh, he's just being antagonistic. He's got an axe to grind because uh, his wife left him. You know I'm telling the truth. There is a multitude in Warsaw alone Jason, Lamar, Dave, me, Randy, probably some more I'm not thinking of, that Steve Hargrave single-handedly caused divorce. Why? Because 
he doesn't care. He's a single, single divorced man himself, and he's racist. If you don't believe he's racist, just listen to the man. He can't even talk without calling you a white supremacist. And you guys just take it. Just take it. All right. So anyway, the cup filled up today, overflowed. And uh, I trust that you are, uh, you're going to take heed to the things that were said and not just pass it off as whatever. Lord bless y'all.